terrorism has been ruled out as the motive for a confrontation at the entrance of the National Security Agency this morning that included gunshots, a car crash and three injuries. But there are still lots of questions about why three men in a rented SUV tried to force their way into the one of the most secure intelligence facilities in the nation. Scott Broom is on the NSA campus tonight. A federal source on background has now said that this may have been a panicked driver who made a wrong turn into one of the most secure facilities in America. That is one of the possibilities among many being investigated here. An NSA police officer, the driver of the rented SUV in this incident and a bystander are the people who were injured apparently from the crash that happened, not from gunfire that broke out during this incident. This happened just before 7 a.m. at the NSA's main gate at K9 Road, where traffic is funneled from an exit off Route 32. Three men in a black rented SUV approached, got past the gate as NSA police reacted. The view from above showed the aftermath, the SUV with bullet holes in the windshield. It had crashed into a concrete barrier. The airbags were deployed and there was one individual in custody on the ground. Importantly, the SUV appeared to have gotten through the gate, turned around and was headed back out towards Route 32 when this all came to an end. FBI Special Agent Gordon Johnson is in charge of the investigation. We believe there is no indication that this has a nexus to terrorism or do we believe that this is anything but an isolated event. Because the NSA police officer was injured, a civilian was injured as well, as was one of the individuals driving the vehicle. At this point in time, we do not believe that any of the injuries sustained were from gunfire. We believe that it was a rental car. Now, the FBI has not said who the men in the SUV are or how it was that they ended up in a confrontation with security at the K-9 Road gate here at the NSA in this early morning confrontation that resulted in gunfire by NSA police. An NSA officer was injured, apparently brushed aside by the vehicle, as well as a bystander who was on the ground. Also, the driver of the SUV was injured in the crash. He's been taken to a hospital. All three men in the SUV are in custody. No charges have been announced. At the NSA in Fort Meade, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. And today was not the first time NSA police were involved in a shooting at Fort Meade. Back in 2015, officers shot two men in a stolen car who would not stop outside of that heavily secured campus. The suspects were dressed as women. The driver died at the scene. We're going to take a break 